In this video, we are going to be looking at the tree view control. Uh, this is the one that has the collapsible, the one that you can expand the node, the tree node, and you can collapse the tree nodes as well. So this is very similar to the menu control. Uh, the tree view control can also be bound to many different data sources, such as a sitemap. We can bind it to a sitemap. We can bind it to an XML file, a simple XML file, and to a database. The tree view control also has a built-in wizard, just like the one I showed you in the uh, menu control, that can be used to manually add uh, your data, I mean your menu items. We are also going to bind the tree view control to a site map data source that we created in the previous video. So if we go back to the uh, to the page, so what we can do is we can add a tree view control just on the same path. So you see it actually displays straight away uh, the kind of data that you get. So you get something like called nodes. So we have different nodes. So um, there are two ways. If you click on this task, the tree view task, you can also edit the nodes just like we did. And you can add a node. You can name it, add a second node, add a third node just like we did with the menu item without actually using the uh, site map file that we created so you can do that and uh, another one that you can another thing you can do is you can also choose a data source but remember that we already created one data source so which is the one that we created before for our site map so we can choose this as well which is what i'm going to do in this video so i'm going to just choose this and uh, it's been automatically added and just like before uh, it's already on our page and uh, as you see, um, it's been displayed at the bottom of the page. So as you can see, it has been added. The hierarchy has everything has been uh, just the way we formatted the sitemap. So if we go ahead and run our page now, we can pick any of the page and just uh, uh, view it in browser. We should be able to uh, see the bread not the breadcrumb, the um, tree view so we can close the nodes and we can even close it up to the on page level so uh, remember I was talking um, in the uh, in the previous slides I was talking about um, we was talking about how we can change a property of the data source not to display the on page so if you select the data source you can sh uh, set show starting node you can uh, change the value to false. So when you do that, as you see, uh, we have uh, removed the on-page. So we cannot see the on-page now. We can only see the staff and the student page and the about us page. Also here, because we set the uh, static level to display to be 2, that's why since the on-page is not there, it has to display to 2. So what we can do now is we can set that back to 1. So if we set that back to 1, we still get the same result that we expected. Sorry, I, I double-clicked on the page. That's why it gave me the page note. So let's get back to the design view. So this is the, the normal um, so Let's view it in the browser. So as you see, this will be the ideal um, so we can collapse this we can collapse this collapse the student collapse the last and uh, we can also use this one so um, this is always a good idea I mean in my own humble opinion it's always good to use the menu this menu is this the best one to use for your to create the menu for your page this one is just to give directions to the user and it's usually a good idea to add it at the top here the navigation at the top so it's always a good idea to add this one to the side because it's not natural for people to look for menu on the left hand side on your page and um, lastly this is just to I you know this is not really the way you want to this is used for other stuff on the on the page but not really to um, add many items to the to your website so whichever one that you like the one whichever one that you feel comfortable with go ahead and use it and uh, I will see you in the next video thank you